Kessler Spindle HSK 100 Heidenheim controller. It's got a hundred horsepower continuous. We're about to bring a monster into this facility, a monster. A hundred thousand pound CNC machine is coming into this facility. And when you step into a machine like this, you can't just bring it up the ramp. You have a 100,000 pound machine. You have two forklifts, both 60,000 pounds. It'll literally crush your ramp. Because of the way that our building is laid out, and we have so many machines on the first side of the building, and although we have the bigger door over there, we're looking at bringing in this machine on the other side. Now the far side of the building, the new side, has a 12 foot door and has a ramp. So we're building a platform on that ramp and we're gonna bring it right through that door. But guess what? As soon as the machine shows up, we take measurements and realize the machine is wider than 12 feet. So the info that we had previously is wrong and now we have to shift. So we're taking the entire platform that we just built and we're now rebuilding it over by our 14 foot door. If you guys remember when we first built the facility, I said, we're gonna bring monsters into this facility. I wanna show manufacturing, I wanna bring awareness to the entire industry from small machines to monster machines. Because of manufacturing, because of technology, because of automation and our workforce, we can truly outcompete anybody in the world, but you have to bring in the right machines. Sometimes you can use smaller machines, but sometimes, Sometimes on the high level, when you're building big things, you're building rockets, you're building cars, you're building engines, so you have to bring in monsters to do that machining efficiently. And that is what we have right here. Oh, here comes the crane. Ooh, this thing is a beast. So this crane is gonna grab this machine and it's gonna lift it up and just put it right on that ramp. Once it's on the ramp, we're gonna roll it right inside. So we have multiple trucks. The main piece is on this truck right here. So we're gonna actually take off the tarps. The crane has a sleeve hanging down and then the sleeve connects to this machine and then the crane is simply going to lift the machine up. Remember now, we're close to 100,000 pounds with just this section of the machine. Now the crane's gonna rotate. It's actually gonna bring the machine down. So the back of the machine, the foundation, actually sets right on these back skates. The front of the machine is gonna actually drop onto the forklift and then the forklift will pull because now it's pulling off of a flat surface. So the forklift has to get out of the way of the deuce on mill turn, rotate around and pivot the machine. And now we have to maneuver through our shop to get it to the other side. Now let's just talk about the machine. It's an Abarmia. Many people don't know, but the biggest companies in the world, they know this is a beast machine. The machine is actually built in Spain, in a section of Spain where there's 160 machine tool manufacturers in one section of the country. And this particular company, Ibarmia, they are top level. When I say top level, I mean top level. When you look at Mazak and DMG Mori, a lot of their rails are actually machined on Ibarmia on these machines because they're crazy rigid and they hold amazing tolerances. Now, when it comes to this machine, the machine is close to 100,000 pounds. The table is massive. You can put 13,000 pounds on this table and there are two rotating pallets. When you look at the spindle, it is a Kessler spindle, one of the greatest spindles in the world. It has an HSK 100 as a spindle connection and the power. It's got a hundred 
horsepower continuous. So it doesn't matter if you're running aluminum or you're running titanium or Inconel or Monel. With that type of power and that spindle connection, you're going to war on that material and then you're gonna kiss it perfectly into tolerance. As far as the control, I'm excited because it has the Heidenheim controller and this controller is fast. When you look at a block pivoting in the machine for the workspace, it is basically five feet. And you can put 13,000 pounds on that table. Looking at inches per minute, it's a monster machine, but it still feeds at 1181 inches per minute. The rapid is at 1574 inches per minute and the head actually tilts. So when the head drops down, it can actually undercut overcut full five axis crazy beast of a machine and we're bringing this thing in for education so the machine is coming onto our floor we're going to film it we're going to teach on it we're going to do an aerospace series on it and we're going to give all that education for free and then in about five months ellison is going to sell it at a discount right off of our floor and we will bring a new machine in we'll teach on that machine give free education on that level teaching the entire trade Boom, Titans of CNC, Texas, baby. Uh, I told you guys, when we go to Texas, we're going to go big. We're gonna bring monsters in. We're gonna give free education to the world and we're gonna take education to the highest levels. If you guys love what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and put the comments down below. In the next video, we will unleash the beast, the Ebarmia, boom.